just wondered if if I could help if you. I say I couldn't understand the message basically. Yes, it was a, you. you know a couple of points about scriptures and Holy Spirit, but I really couldn't understand what you were saying. Um, well, there's a couple of things. Um, page 147 of Revelation, it's grand, grand climax at hand. It talks about the John <laughs> class. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. Now, I think the John class are the anointed. Um, I'm not sure if they're the anointed yeah. in heaven or the anointed on earth. What would be the names for both different groups? You know, the anointed at the moment on earth and the anointed in, in, in heaven. Um, right, well, uh, the anointed on earth are not, uh, you know, are just that. They're, they're what we call the faithful and discreet slave. We believe they are the ones who have been charged with giving people spiritual food at the proper time. Um, from Jesus' words in Matthew. At, um, at, the, at the moment, you believe that's the governing body, but not when this book was written. Um, you believe that all the anointed were the faithful and discreet right. slave, okay. I believe. It, yeah. it is possibly one problem. Um, yeah. That book has not been updated for some time. And in fact, we don't um, generally give it out to the public mm -hmm. because there have been some some updates to our understanding of various scriptures mm -hmm. and there's various bits in that that are probably out of date okay. not up to date with our current thinking okay yeah. um but yeah. by the way you you didn't say um where is the kingdom hall based where's your hall based because i'm I, i'm on the south coast would i be somewhere away from you oh uh, south coast where is, is mill hill deal i mean you, you must have sorry the... mill hill you must have got the um, deal. the number, I guess, from a phone book or something, or um, from, the, you, from, the, from the from from the charity commission website because nobody locally answered the phone. No one, no king oh, right. okay. answered the phone. Yeah. So, so you're in deal, is that right? Uh, the, the, yeah, yeah. Who, who you phoned? Yeah, was uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Uh, you, where, where your kingdom hall is based? Is that in deal? Yeah. Deal. Yeah. And where is deal? Uh, Oh, oh, it's in Kent. Yeah. So Mill Hill is that the name of the congregation or? No, that's the, no, the road. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I don't, I don't have a. All right, well, obviously, I'm, 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 I'm about two hundred miles away from you. So you're oh, in right. Deal in 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 Kent, in Kent right? Yeah. Right, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's just uh, yeah. how you found how you happened to find that one. Yes. I'm not sure. <laughs> Do you know? I, I mean, there's about a thousand kingdom halls in the country. Yes. So how you managed to find us, particularly from where you are, I'm not sure. But <laughs> well, the Charity Commission website. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. That that um, help. Help with that. Um, the other thing would be, um, yeah. w would Jehovah's Witnesses see themselves as Christians and as a church or not? Would you see yourself as a church? Uh, well, difficult one that. We tend not to use the word church because we feel that many churches actually don't accurately represent the Bible. Certainly not Jehovah God, who is, we believe, the author of the Bible. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you wouldn't because regard yourself feel, as a church? Well, that's a difficult one. It, it, we sort of are, but as, as I'm saying, because there's been so many uh, churches that are not that don't really represent truly, we don't believe Christianity or the correct views of the Bible, is why we sort of somewhat distance ourselves from the word church. Mm -hmm. It might not make sense. It might take a bit more understanding than that. But, uh, right. 
Right. So that's the sort of, you know, I was trying to give you a quick bottom line, if you understand, yeah. Um, I, I understand that you... The, the Watchtower Society claims to be a theocracy. Now, I read that in this book, yeah. and I've read that in other books right. as well. A theocracy yeah. means a sort of um, um, earthly organisation that's been appointed by God, that his rule is through this earthly institution. Yeah. Um, it's ruled by God. Yeah, I'm, not sure about, I'm not sure about rule, you know. We, um, as I say, we're... Basically, our, our aim is to let people know about the Bible, about God's purpose for the earth, about the kingdom arrangement. The, the rulership comes in, obviously, through the kingdom arrangement, which is basically, we believe, a, a, a heavenly government. This is where the, uh, the anointed, the John class and that come in. But they will ultimately Sorry, rule can, the can, I just, can I just yeah. stop you? Yeah, yeah. The, the heavenly sure. anointed, you said, are the John class? I'm looking at the phrase the John class. Let me just read from page 1047 because now you seem to be saying something different that you were saying a little while ago. In obedience to the angel's trumpet blast, the John class has continued to expose Christendom as deserving yeah. of Jehovah's adverse judgments. Yeah, okay, so that is what we believe. That, that by the John class, we mean um, ones who are anointed and will ultimately on their death raised to heavenly life to rule with Jesus. I thought you just said that John class was in heaven, but now you're saying that John well, class the, will no, be raised, no, so are the, not, is John class on earth? Well, they're the, they're the same ones, aren't they? You know, when, once <laughs> if they're on the earth as one of the uh, chosen anointed ones. So are the John class the anointed who are on the earth, or are the John class the anointed in heaven, or both? Would you, um, how could you see a, a different... I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I, no, no, no. I, I don't have but anything to do with your religion at all. I just want to understand what the term... About, you see, it's very, difficult, it, it's very difficult to have a conversation if yeah. a term means yeah. one thing to one person and then something totally different to another person. Uh, Generally, when, when, if we're talking about the John class and, and the preaching work, obviously, it's talking about while they're on the earth. So would the John class be the, the anointed who are on the earth right now? It is where you get a slight uh, complication. In essence, yes. But I, I, mean, believe, I, mean, I mean, look, there's a... Be, well, can I just finish the yeah, sentence? Yeah. The thought used to be that all the anointed were part of the faithful and discreet slave and all part of the John class directly as such and, and responsible for the teaching. Now we understand that actually most of the John class don't are not involved in the uh, what do you call it the, the sort of management if you like and directives of the teaching on the earth. So the faithful and discreet slave is another point, another term that we believe are really closely associated now with the governing body of Jehovah's Witnesses who direct the preaching work earthwide. And I know the, the, the problem is, you know, that there's, a, there's a lot to take in if you're not, uh, you know, when yeah. you're not associating with Jehovah's Witnesses and maybe not, and I, I'm guessing, studying our teaching and understanding of the Bible. I'm looking at page 146. From 1919 onwards, the John class has again been able to take in solid spiritual food, particularly yeah. the truths about God kingdom ruled by the lion that is of the tribe of Judah. Well, yeah. that can't be talking about the anointed in heaven. No, no, OK, so that's what I'm saying. In that reference there, it's talking about them while they're on the earth, yeah. 
So the John class would be only the anointed on the earth, not the anointed in heaven. I, I think that's well, what it refers to. Okay, well, if, if that helps you understand. Well, it's, yeah. no, I don't. I, yeah. I want yeah. to know what the term means. Well, um, I, I did try to explain that if, you know, if they are yeah. of the John class on the earth, once they go to heaven, they don't suddenly not become, have the same sort of qualifications. So are you now saying that the John class will be the anointed both on the in on earth and also in heaven? Um, yeah, but I'm, as I say, I, I don't want to give you the wrong idea of... You could always... Uh, my name's my name's Robert, by the way. If I I didn't yeah. know. I didn't catch catch, catch your name. Um, look, if you don't know, Eric. you can just get. Pardon, you are. My name's Eric. Eric, Eric, you can get back to me on this. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't have to talk. No, no, no. I, I, well, well, I'm, but I'm in this book, it. I don't think yeah. it's saying the John class are in heaven. Yeah. Okay. I think the John class is on the earth. Now, am I wrong about that? If you don't know, just you, just get back you, to me. You, no, you, you you're not wrong. No, you're not wrong. What right. I'm saying is, it's not like it's not like there's two different groups in that um, because, as I say, with the, these ones while they're on the earth of the John class, when they die, they will go to heaven. And and what but is the we, name of the anointed who go to heaven in heaven? Only the anointed in heaven, not on the earth, because that would be a different name, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can get back to me. Yeah, I, I find this very I, I, interesting. I, 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 it, yeah, it, it's a strange question, to be quite honest. <laughs> it's an odd question. Well, and your I book... I don't see the significance of the question. Well, yes, I, 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 I think the book is saying there's one group of the anointed on earth, and they have a name, and there's another group of the anointed who are in heaven, and they have a different what, name. Well, what, you, you're taking again from this book, so what, what is this book? Um, well, it, it, it must do, because if the John class are not all of the anointed, if the John class is just a part of the anointed who are on the earth, there must be a different name for the anointed who are in heaven. Um, I don't see why. I don't see why. Unless you, you know, you're saying that Jesus Christ when he was on the earth, he was called Jesus. OK, when he's in heaven, he sometimes might be referred to as something else. Well, you call him Michael now. Mike, you believe Michael, he's Michael yeah, now, yes. or the Lamb of God. He, or, he's, but he's the same person, isn't it? Well, no, because you now, you teach he rose as a spirit creature. He's no longer well, human. Yeah, but it's the same individual. Well, no, because he was person. recreated as a spirit creature. He's not the same person. He he mm. in your theology, as far as I understand, I mean, I could be wrong. Oh, yeah. um, I, I have been at this for many many hours. Um, okay. Um, but he is the same person, it's just that he's not in a, a fleshly body. <laughs> but he still has the same, uh, if you like, a person is is more their thoughts, isn't it? And their makeup as a, as an individual than the actual body as such, if you see what I mean. Right, OK. And, and bodies change, don't they, as we go through life? <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they say that we're probably, you know, all your body changes about every seven years. So the actual cells that make up your body now are completely different to the ones that made them up, say, ten years ago. <laughs> but it doesn't mean to say you're not the same person, does it? Um, OK, you, you've you've said, thank, thank you, Eric, that you're not a church, but you say you are Christians. Um, yeah. What would a Christian be? Because, of course, Baptists claim to be Christians, the Catholics claim yeah. to be Christians, the Pentecostals claim to be Christians. Why do you believe that you're, you're, the, the Jehovah's Witnesses are Christians, but these groups are not? I think you refer to them in the book as Christendom. You, you, um, page 147, the John class had continued to expose Christendom as deserving of Jehovah's adverse judgment. So Christendom, we reference to the Catholic and the Protestant and the Orthodox churches that you called Christendom. Yeah. We don't believe they have Jehovah's favour or will have, no. Because for the very reason that they don't teach Bible truths and they even um, you know, teach things that certainly 
aren't uh, what was intended and written in the scriptures. By Bible truths, you mean your teachings, basically? They don't I mean, teach the, your well, teachings? It, what the Bible says, if you really take carefully what the Bible says and understand it. For example, I mean, one the biggest example is, of course, the Trinity. The, the, you know, the Bible itself doesn't teach a trinity it talks about jesus and jehovah as two individuals um your and first it talks, it sorry talks about holy, holy spirit you know it does uh, sometimes refer to it in sort of personal terms but generally it, it's not referred to as a person it's a force a power your first president of the Watchtower Bible of Tract Society was a Trinitarian, a man called William Henry Conley. He was only there for two or three years, and then he left, and Russell, who was Secretary Treasurer of the Watchtower, was bumped up to President, and then the Watchtower was incorporated in December 1884. But your first president was a Trinitarian, and we Russell... Didn't have a we didn't have a president in the 1880s. No, no, before the incorporation. William Henry Connolly yeah. was the president of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, and Never Russell was secretary treasurer. Never heard of him, and perhaps that's why the change came as well. Maybe um, there was an, an understanding that was uh, of some that wasn't in line with Bible teaching. Maybe <laughs> I don't know because I've never heard of it, the person you've just mentioned, so I don't know. Well, just because you haven't heard of it, it doesn't mean it's not relevant. Yes, I mean if you go well, to, if yeah. you know, I mean if if a um, uh, if uh, a doctor has never heard of a virus, because he you know he's oh yeah I'm not saying that it, doesn't mean the viruses yeah, don't exist. Did, did, did. What, what I'm saying is that he um, it, it, certainly a lot has changed since 1914, 1990. Um, Key dates um, and individuals that were around before that time, uh, because they had a different view, doesn't mean to say that that view is right and everybody else's is wrong subsequently, does it? Sorry, I don't follow you. You have to. What do you mean? Well, everyone's you're view. Saying is... This person was a was a Trinitarian. I'm pointing out the first president of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society was a Pittsburgh banker called William Henry Conley, and he was the first president of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society from 1879 till about 1881, 1882. There was a falling out with Russell. He left. Russell, who was secretary treasurer in 1879, became the president. No, there was, there was and no Watchtower Society, I don't believe. That the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of Pennsylvania. Yeah, and um, anyway, you, you're going back to a time when uh, um, yeah, I, I think it's totally irrelevant what his views were and whether he was a Trinitarian or not. But you said the Trinity was well, let, let, wicked let, and let, wrong. Let's put things, let's put things uh, in again a bit in context. Obviously, all these people came from um, Christian Christendom, Christian teachings. They had ideas that they'd been brought up with, grew up with. And for example, I, I, I don't know if you know, but Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate birthdays. And without going into it all, uh, and we don't um, believe the cross is a valid symbol of Christianity. And yet, um, in the early 1900s, very early, um, I believe most of the members did celebrate birthdays, and, and quite often, um, uh, in fact, even uh, on the so, early watch uh, yes. the cross. Uh, so, so, Eric, uh, are you saying that your beliefs yeah. are always in a constant state of flux? You're always changing what you believe? I wouldn't say we're always changing what we believe, but as things come to light and there's a clearer understanding, then obviously it's necessary to change. Uh, uh, who it, it, changes? Who who does well, these changes? It, 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 The 144,000 make changes. I thought it was the governing body that makes the changes well, the alone. 100, since... Yeah, the 144,000 in heaven as yet don't exist as a group because, because there, there's still some on the 
the earth that are going to have their place in heaven. This is what I was saying about the John class being, it's, it's not, um, they're not two different people. You, but you, people on the earth Eric, who eventually... I, Eric, I, I really heaven. am finding this very difficult because you're making multiple points. You're saying this and this and then that and that and that. And I want to speak... But yeah, yeah. you're saying this point yeah. and then that point and then this point and that point oh, and then another point. No, and you're, you're covering five or six points in your little, in, in what you're sorry. saying. I'm, well, I'm sorry. It I'm wasn't finding it very hard. I was several points. I was trying to explain where maybe the problems come in between the John class on earth and in heaven. And so I'm now saying, you're saying the John class is in heaven and on earth. I'm saying they are the same people, just the same as although you disagree, Jesus is the same person when he was on earth as he is now in heaven, although admittedly a spirit person. L L hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back to page 147. We're going back to... In obedience, the angelic angel's trumpets blasts. The John class has continued to expose Christendom as deserving of Jehovah's adverse judgments. Now... Right. I understand that when you say John class, you mean the anointed, but I don't think this is referring to the anointed in heaven, which you've just said. You no, said the John no, class not. is in heaven no, and on not. the earth, and no, I think that's that's incorrect. I think it's the anointed who you believe are in heaven and on the earth, but not the John class. I think the John class refers to the anointed on the earth, because it's on the earth that the book is saying that Christendom is exposed. Right. Okay. I, I mean, if I'm wrong. You know, I, I happily accept correction, but right. if you just so make it up as you go along, then there's no um, point no, having a I'm, conversation because you need to be exact. No, I'm, I'm definitely not making it up as I go Okay, go all right, I'm okay. I'm trying to explain yeah. that the John class are selected from the earth, yeah? They're not, they're not angels that have always been spirit creatures. And... At some point in their life, obviously when they die, they go to heaven and are resurrected in a spirit body, the same as Jesus was. But they're the same individuals. I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in the phrase the John class. It seems to indicate the John class is on the earth. But this this yeah, isn't... Yeah, generally, that is, a, that, that is where you'll find an understanding, yeah, of the right. John class. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. If your beliefs change all the time... Where, where have they changed all the time? Well, for instance, William Henry Connolly, your first president, was a Trinitarian. I've never heard of this. I, I, I don't know what I can say. Let, well, let if me, you go to well, if you go to Mongolia, and you speak to someone there who's never heard of um, uh, the Apollo spacecraft, you know, yeah, Apollo that landed on the moon, the fact that yeah. someone in Mongolia no, or in some African mean. jungle hasn't heard of the Apollo space no. mission that landed a man on the moon um, doesn't mean that it saying, never happened. No, it doesn't. And I'm not saying that William Henry... What's his name? Connolly? How do you Connolly. Spell it? William Henry Connolly. How do you spell it? I think it's C-O-N-L-E-Y. See... Um, he was a Trinitarian. He was the first president. Yeah, yeah. I've got a book that I got from a book dealer called Berean Bible Teacher's Manual. And I think the page number is 454. It talks about Jesus Christ becoming the Almighty God at his resurrection. No, he didn't become the Almighty God. Let's get that very clear. <laughs> no, your literature says he became the Almighty God no. at his resurrection. That was published in 1909. That was the official teaching of what you were teaching towards the end of Pastor Russell's life. That Jesus Christ was a man, but at his resurrection he became the Almighty God. That's also taught in the Finnish Mystery, page 15 and page 240. Not that he became Almighty God, no. Do you want me to get the book and read it to you? Well, no, because I'm not sure of the book. Whether well, you can you can find out. You can find out about something yeah. about your history. I'm very interested in history. When I was at university, yeah. I did a lot of history, and I found it fascinating. Um, so, so you change because the idea that Jesus Christ becomes the Almighty God is not a Trinitarian position, but this was something that Pastor Russell developed, right? Um, 
many okay. years after Connolly had, 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 had left. This is what he was teaching. The Finnish Mystery was published in 1917, one year after Pastor Russell's death, but it's based on his notes. And that book yeah, and, says... And uh, there are there's certainly uh, adjustments to whatever was being written back then yeah. because of increased understanding of what the Bible teaches. And if... Um, I mean, from from what you're saying in your analogy just now, to me, it's a bit like saying, um, you know, most people used to believe the Earth was flat, and we don't now because we've got evidence uh, that shows things differently. And and in, in the same way, there used to be thoughts about what maybe what the Bible taught without a, a full, complete understanding. But as more things come to light and the understanding becomes says that it says the light continues to grow no brighter. no it does not proverbs 4 18 says the path of the righteous is better illuminated by light it's a contrast between verse 19 where the wicked stumble in darkness but the path of the righteous is illuminated as they're obedient to jehovah god in proverbs 4 18 so it's got nothing to do with new doctrines or new beliefs it's simply saying that obedient people uh, their path will be more illuminated as they obey Jehovah God. And verse 19 says the wicked don't wish to um, obey the Bible, that, so they turn from Jehovah's word, the Bible, and they stumble in darkness. Um, I, I'm very interested in looking at why you would believe Jehovah's Witnesses are Christian, but I think maybe we would need to speak again, Eric, and just talk about one single topic. Yes, but my to understand that. yes, but my point is everyone is else says yes, but my point is everybody else gives the same definition. The Catholics, the Baptists, the Pentecostals, the Greek okay. Orthodox, the Russian Orthodox—they would give exactly the same definition as you've given, but you okay. say but that they are you, Christendom. But when you look into their teaching, you find actually that, that their teaching are absolutely contrary to what the Bible teaches. No, I've, no, no, hold on, 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 stop, stop. Yeah. You, you keep making multiple points you go from one point to another point to another point it's, it's difficult for me to follow okay well, they they claim would that you like an example they claim that you Take are pardon I, actually, like i'm trying to speak and you you want to you've interrupt you haven't allowed me to make my point oh, and speak okay. and you uh, when you okay. speak again you won't make one point you'll make three or four points which makes it impossible to have a conversation because when you have a conversation it's best to discuss one point you say what you think I say what I think, we stick to that one point, we don't go on to point two unless we've covered point one. If you talk and you say point one, point two, point three, point four, and I try to to then butt in and then say something and you interrupt me and then you go point five, point six, point seven, point eight, it's difficult to have a conversation. My point is that the other churches, the Baptists, the Methodists, the Anglicans, the Catholics, the Pentecostals, they would say the same thing of you. They say you're preaching a false gospel. So do you, do you think, can I ask a question then, do you think all the churches are actually teaching the true gospel? Um, yes, I think many churches preach um, a gospel, but I think it, it is watered down, no. it is corrupted. Yeah. And I think all yeah. of the religious groups, including Jehovah's Witnesses, um, have certain things that they teach that are true, and other things that they teach that are not true. And I think, you know, it, the um, percentage of truthful comments and untruthful comments varies between between groups i don't think everyone anyone has ever got it completely 100 percent totally right on every single thing that they say and i don't believe no, any church perfect, is 100 no, we're not, we're and i don't think you see i'm just trying to make a comment I, just, yeah, 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 and i don't yeah. believe any church is 100 percent wrong i think it's something between the two but when I, you point the finger at other churches what you mean is they're not teaching jehovah's witness doctrine 
That's what you mean no, by no, error. No, no, no. The overriding statement I was making that I believe is true is that in you know that there's a lot of church teaching that is more to do with um, uh, what do you call it um, tradition, such like, and certainly false teaching. Well, you need to prove that, mate. You need to prove oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need that's, to show me that. You need to show me evidence of that. Yeah. And not go from okay. point to point to point. Your Trinity, no, okay. Holy Spirit, war, uh, this, government, and blah, blah, blah. And not making multiple points. No, Just say okay. we'll talk about one single thing, and I'll prove to you, okay. Robert, that that is wrong on one thing, one issue. Okay. Uh, and we stick yeah. to one issue. We yeah. both promise to stick to one issue and one issue only. Yeah. And... The, uh, I'll, I'll just say the difficulty, depending on where you're coming from, obviously I don't know your beliefs yeah. and your background and such like, um, but issues like, and the, and the big issues are what happens when we die and the, the Trinity teaching. They are two things where Jehovah's Witnesses have a very different view from most, if not all, other religions. Well, I can't discuss two or three or four or five things. No, we can no, only no, discuss one that, single you know, thing. And yeah, we both okay, agree one, to stick to that topic. Because okay. I'm happy to learn. I'm very yeah, happy yeah. to learn. Um, and I do have the time at the moment. It's difficult in the afternoons yeah. to speak. It would be best evenings after 7.30 or in the mornings. And I've got no credit on this phone at the moment, I'm afraid. It ran out no, yesterday. No. That's all right. Um, um, yeah. Can I just ask, you, you know, you keep mentioning the um, uh, Revelation book, which, mm. as I say, is out of date and not a mm. good source. And certainly if you're going back to stuff that was written in the 1900s or even the 1800s, it's not really very helpful to talk about that because <laughs> um, uh, our views have changed. Uh, do you, have you looked at our website or do you, do yes. you use our website? Yes, so I have been on your website for hour after hour after hour after hour. Yeah. Okay. Um, if your beliefs... I mean, this Revelation book was only published in 1988, so it's well within yeah. my lifetime. If you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you so yeah. dismiss this book, don't no, you feel... No, we're not so dismissing it. I'm could I make my point? Is... Could I make my point? Yeah, yeah, go on then. My point is this, if you dismiss, your, dismiss this book so readily and all of your older literature, don't you think that what you teach currently is also going to be dismissed in a couple of no. decades to come? No, no, I'm not saying the whole lot is wrong, but what I'm saying is there are some bits in there, and if you pick up on one of those bits, the understanding's changed. And I mean, even you know, from what, what you started with about the John class, and is the John class in earth or in heaven, um, it's... Well, I don't know. It's 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 just odd. <laughs> well, I I was reading the book and I found the John yeah. class mentioned. Uh -huh. um, yeah. No one can really answer this question. Um, I did remember speaking to people at the carts about this before the lockdown about a year ago um, last oh. year. No one really really knew and bothered. They just said the same thing. Go to jw.org. dot um, I think it's best to forget about the John class. Do you want to discuss yeah. one single topic and we both promise to stick to that topic and absolutely nothing else? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so you, or maybe would you like to suggest the topic? Um, well, I would see um, Jesus' resurrection from the grave I see him rising from the grave, because you said earlier he rose as a spirit. I see him rising from the grave as a man. Um, so I believe that Christ okay. right now is, 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 is a man, because in Acts 17.31 he's called a man. Paul in Mars Hill. Or would you prefer to leave this to some other time, because we've been talking uh, for half no, an hour. you can leave it to some other time, definitely, but I'm just saying, you know, just trying to get an idea of where, where we might go with yes. this. Um, my own my own yeah. background, by the way, you asked me about myself. Um, yeah. I'm 59, so I'm getting on a little bit now. Um, I made a profession of faith in a Pentecostal church in London in 1985, Peniel Chapel, quite near to Kensington yeah. Temple, which is called KKT. Um, it was an Assemblies of God church. Um, basically, I ended up leaving um, and not attending church. I got involved in a uh, an anti-Trinitarian group called Oneness in the late 1980s 
and I'd never really been able to settle in, ch in a church since. I did try when I moved to Plymouth to try again, attending yeah. church. That was about 15 years ago. And um, basically I found so many scandals in the churches with people just making stuff up as they go along. It, it annoys me. If you don't yeah. know, say, Robert, I don't know. And I can live with yeah. that. But I hate people who say, oh, uh, you know, it means this or it means that. And they don't know what they're talking about. They just make it up as yeah. they go along. Sure, that no, that infuriates that. me, especially when it's yeah. young kids. Yeah. OK, it's a young man or it's a young <laughs> daughter who's only got their church leadership position because they're the pastor's daughter or the pastor's right. son or, yeah. or the wife of the pastor says, well, I'm a co-pastor. And she hasn't read the Bible through once. She's biblically illiterate. But when you ask them questions, they make it up as they go along. That that really yeah. annoys me because there's no... I'm yeah, just wasting my time. That. So... Well, so it, we, we, as I say, base all our teachings on the Bible. And yes, but, that, but that's what everyone else says, mate. That's just a canned answer. The Baptists say we base all our beliefs on the Bible. The Pentecostals say they believe base all their yeah. beliefs on the bible okay. let me finish the catholics yeah. say they base their beliefs on the bible the mormons say they believe base their beliefs on the bible so that's just well, a canned answer but, but, uh, yeah but i mean <laughs> i was trying to say quite often that is not really the, i mean the, the catholic church tends to use i forget what it's called something they have something else as well don't they the, certainly the book of mormon um has the, sorry, the Mormons have the Book of Mormon, which they believe um, is but the, the Bible. Yes, and the and yes, I'm, you... I'm I'm not a Mormon, mate. I'm not here no, a no, Mormon. No, I'm I've never been a Mormon. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I am not a Roman not Catholic. I'm not a Catholic priest. I'm not here to defend the these. That's what they say. They would point the yeah. finger at you and say you had the Watchtower mm. to the Bible. Yeah. You, you only in, mm. you only interpret the Bible in the light of the latest Watchtower. So they say yeah, you're but... doing exactly what the Catholics do with tradition and with the, what the Mormons yeah. do with the Book of Mormon and the Mormon literature. Because the Catholics yeah. don't go to the Bible. They interpret the Bible in the light of the Catholic tradition. Some, Most of yeah. them. Not yeah. all of them, but most of them. Yeah. And most Mormons, well, really all of them, would interpret. But actually, maybe not all. Because um, there are people who come to faith in Christ, but because of their families yeah. still in these groups... Um, yeah. They do stay in the groups, even though they might have radically different beliefs. They might come to a, what you would call a, a Protestant understanding of the Bible. Um, yeah. But because of family members still in the group, such as uh, I've met people in the Christadelphians who don't hold to Christadelphian doctrine. They're yeah. Trinitarian, but they stay yeah. in because for the sake of their families. So <clears throat> not everyone in a group holds the official doctrine of that group. But um, anyway, I mean, Acts 17.31 talks about Jesus. Can I just read the verse and then maybe we finish there, Eric? Sure, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just turning it up, yeah. Thanks. Um, sorry if I'm a little bit intense, but to me it's important. Oh, that's, that's fine. Of course it's important. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it's important if you, you know, like me, you really understand that your everlasting life depends on it. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Um, because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man who he has ordained. He has yeah. given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. Now, when it says raising yeah. him from the dead, the antecedent yeah. in the sentence is man. Right. Okay. And at the start of the sentence, it talks about Christ is going to judge the world in righteousness. Well, God's okay. going to judge yeah. the world in righteousness by the man. Because he has appointed a day, that's after Armageddon, okay, this is the yep. day in which everyone's going to yeah, be judged, yeah. on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man, that's Christ, yep. who he, yep. the Father, has ordained. Yep. So when Christ does this judgment, he's going to be a man, not a spirit creature. It's, it's as a human <laughs> being, as a man, that Christ is going to judge the world. And God the Father raised him from the dead, yeah. And the antecedent to that is man. Paul's speaking uh, about 15 uh, years. Let me finish my point. Paul's speaking 15 years after the resurrection here, yeah. Eric. He's yeah. speaking in, yeah. in Athens on Mars Hill. I actually went to Mars Hill. I took a little yeah. rock from it. So I've got a rock in my flat. A little bit of Mars Hill in my flat. Right, OK. OK, but, you know, if, if you're saying he is a man, uh, I don't know, do you? Do you think then he's a man, you know, he's still alive somewhere as a man, a fleshly being? 
it, it doesn't i don't care what i think i don't care what you think and i don't care what i think the text says that yeah. God the Father raised him from the dead, and the antecedent yep. to that is man. So God the Father raised Christ from the dead as a man. And yeah. as a man, the future judgment is going to be by a man. After Armageddon, when Satan is destroyed in the eternal state, there's going to be a judgment. And God the Father says it's going to be a man who will do the judging. That's Christ on his behalf i mean there are other verses as well I, I mean this verse is 15 years after christ's resurrection one one timothy 2 5 also calls christ a man it's paul speaking again in one timothy 2 5 and that's 30 years after the resurrection that was written at the end of the um, 50s so that's about 30 years after the resurrection that paul calls christ a man in timothy 2 5 for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Anthropos, man, Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So he calls him a man. So I believe that here in his post-resurrection state, Christ is referred to twice as a man. There are other passages as well we could look at, but that's the general sort of thing which confused me, because on the JW.org yeah. site, you didn't really address these two scriptures and, and a couple of others. Yeah. No, and, and uh, again, I think that the thing is, you know, using the term man, he, he certainly was a man. He came to earth as a man. He, he demonstrated that it's possible for man to adhere to Jehovah's requirements and standards throughout their life, even in the face of death, which sadly the first man, Adam, didn't do. And uh, referring to him in human terms as a man, helps us to understand that this is very much about us as humans, not as uh, no, spirit. No, it's that, not. That, it's about Christ. It's about Christ, post-resurrection, no, being a man. The, 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 the message is, the message of the Bible is to man, to humans, yeah? It's not about a message, you know, it's not a message saying, well, don't, don't worry about it, because when you die, you'll go on. To, to live in heaven or something. No, that's a different topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm saying why it says man, it doesn't necessarily mean, in my mind and understanding, that he's, he's going to be a physical man, the same as you or I. So how, how would the text have to read in Acts 17.31 to convince you that Christ rose from the grave as a man and that after Armageddon, on the day of judgment, it's going to be as a man that Christ is going to judge the world. Well, How would the Bible have to read to convince you? I, d I don't want to have to rewrite the Bible. <laughs> I'm putting it in different words. But I'm, I'm talking, I'm just trying to reason and talk logic. Is that when, you, do you agree the Bible said uh, that, that he, he was resurrected? He went up to heaven, Jesus. Yeah. Do, 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 do you know what? I'm, I'm getting a really clear picture, Eric, that if we're going to talk, yeah. I'm going to really prepare. Yeah. And I think you would need to really prepare too, yeah. if you want to do this. Because I've yeah, yeah. been on JW.org for hours. I've spent many, many hours there. And I'm willing to spend more time. But if we talk, mate, we're going to have to talk about one topic and not ramble on about other issues. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we're I'm going not, to have to both it's, it's prepare. <laughs> And the other, dis the other thing we could discuss, I'll tell yeah. you what, it would be a simpler topic. How about this? When we talk again, is the Holy Spirit uh, a person or a force? Because I would see the Holy Spirit as a person. That's what I was taught when I went yeah. to, when I did go to churches. I stopped going about 10 years ago. Yeah. So would you be willing to discuss that and that only the next time we speak? Because if we go from topic yeah. to topic to topic, That's we'll go sorry. nowhere. Because, you know, we'll, we'll just go round and round in circles, ring and ring of roses. Would yeah. you be willing to talk about that? Is the Holy Spirit, because I think if you want to talk about Jesus' resurrection, yeah. you're going to have to do some preparation, mate. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But would but you want to talk about the Holy Spirit? Is the Holy Spirit a he, a person, or is the Holy Spirit an impersonal it? Uh, this is, yeah, I can see <laughs> You know, the problem, as I mentioned earlier, the, the, 
the Holy Spirit is sometimes... No, 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 stop, stop. I'm not asking yeah. you to discuss it now. No, no, because no. I think, mate, no. you need to do some preparation, and I need to do some preparation. Yeah. Are you willing to discuss that topic on another occasion? Or, or do you want to discuss something one. else? I've, I've honestly got to think about that one, because I, I know, and I've had you know, many conversations with Trinitarians, and I know that you will be able to point, or that you will be able to point to a script, like, like you did with the man in uh, Acts, saying, well, yeah, he's a man. Um, but you've got to look at the whole picture. You have to look at several... I'm willing people. to listen to what you've yeah, got yeah. to say, but it will be a dialogue. It will be a discussion. It won't be you yeah. talking for, for, for half an hour and me like a lemon zipping my lips and saying nothing and just listening to you. No, it will no, be an no. adult conversation. That's what intelligent adult men do. It doesn't matter yeah. whether it's politics or religion or or, or, yes. or, or, or whatever. So, you know, um, that's what intelligent people do. They, they, they yeah. have discussions. Would you be willing to discuss the Holy Spirit? If you don't, would you be willing to discuss something else? You make a suggestion. Because I think really to go on and just talk and talk and talk isn't going to be of little no, no, benefit no, no, unless I, we I, agree I to agree, agree a topic and to prepare and to prepare for that. I, I agree entirely. But where I'm having a problem and where I'm, uh, I'm saying, I know that things like the Holy Spirit, whether it is a person, I'm saying that it can sometimes, because I've been there <laughs> several times, it, it, unless you're prepared to accept everything that the Bible says uh, and then take the balance of what it says. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. It, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine then. Okay, yeah. when? I've got my diary okay. in front of me because I don't have credit on this phone, so it's no good you no, texting right. me. I, phone, yeah. I won't be able to to reply. Yeah, okay, when? I... Yeah, well, um, I'm pretty flexible, to be quite honest. Um, I'm retired. Okay. Um, well, um, how about tomorrow afternoon? Would you be free late tomorrow afternoon? Give me a couple of hours to look at this. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> Very okay. early, I've got something else planned tomorrow afternoon. Saturday but, morning? Uh, about, uh, about 11 o'clock, Saturday morning. 11 o'clock, okay. Eric, I'm writing my diary. Eric from D Deal Kingdom. Yes, yeah. Deal, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On yeah. Holy, Sp Holy Spirit. So I will look at that, and the only thing I would ask you is that if we go into this, I'm, I'll be taking notes... Because yeah. I've been scribbling away as you've been talking. I, I scribble right. stuff down. And I, what I then do is I go back and I look those things up to, to check them yeah. out. Um, but we would have to basically be willing to let the other speak for a bit. You, know, yeah. you can't interrupt. Because if you talk and you say what you want to say, it's best really to say one point at a time. Sure. Yeah. I, um, I'm sure we'll both let the others speak. Okay. Well, look, I'll, I'll look into this, Eric. And um, you have to phone me at 11, 11 on Saturday the 10th then. Yeah. All yeah, right. Will. Yeah. Well, look, thank okay. you very much for your help, sir. And um, do, do, okay. do appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thanks, okay. Then. Bye. Bye now.